cinnamon pear balsamic glazed sweet potatoes. Oh yeah, we're talking balsamic and olive oil at all of the senses right here at the Hudson. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a new program that's helping seniors discover the best services available. And we learn how to drive an aqua bus. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello and welcome to Go Island. We are at Olive the Senses Gourmet Foods. Isn't that the best name ever? It's right here at the Hudson and now part of the Victoria Public Market, which is so dang exciting. There's just so much to do when you come down here and more importantly, so much to taste. Emily, first of all, let's, you've been open a year now, which has been so fun to see you guys out there uh, doing tastings every day, uh, connecting with people. This place is just hopping. Tell us the vision behind all of the senses. Yeah. It all started when my husband and I um, lived in Europe and fell in love with fresh olive oil, um, found out so much from his aunt who owns an olive grove in Italy. And when we moved back to North America, we just couldn't find anything that tasted like Aunt Grace's olive oil. So when I did a bunch of research into olive oil, the industry came up with a whole lot of really unfortunate information because it's unregulated in North America. And because of the lack of regulation, people in North America don't have the chance to taste real fresh olive oil or really understand what it's all about. And so that's when the concept was born for us to be able to let people taste before they purchase. Now what makes an olive oil delicious, healthy, and, and a, a great cooking product? Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil literally means perfect, which means it can have no sensory defects <laughs> and it passes the full sensory and chemical analysis. So to have a really delicious olive oil, you have a very short pick to press time, which means the olive goes from being attached to the tree to being oil in a very short amount of time. All of our oils are picked to press in under six hours. Tell me um, about the tastings that you have available. So these are our single varietal, which are very much our pride and joy and they are one variety of olive squished, <laughs> is, is the best way to describe them. So you'll see the name on the tag is Arbikina, Lichino, Koroniki being a classic Greek variety, Lichino being a Tuscan variety, Coratina being from the south of Italy. So all of the olives, just like grapes or apples, every variety has its own flavor profile. Wow. Olives do the same, but because most of the oils we have here are blended, we don't aren't know the able difference. to, exactly, we don't know the difference. We can't pull out the different flavor profiles within them. I am so excited to taste some and we're going to try some in just a moment. But first, we're going to head to the couch in Valley where Sachetta Singh met up with a group of people who have a very unique and innovative way to help seniors find resources and connect to community. Uh, very cool story. Thanks for that story, Sachetta. Of course, if you want to live a long, healthy life, you need to have lots of olive oil in your life because it's good for you, isn't it, Emily? It's very healthy. And if you want the best and the tastiest, I'm telling you, you gotta come here. This store at the Hudson, uh, I love the name by the way too, All of the Senses, really will offer you unique opportunity to taste olives, olives, olives that are turned into olive oil from all over the world. Now tell me about what we're gonna try now, Emily. So this is our Pequal from Australia, which seems like a strange country to choose olive oil from. But Australia is actually the only country in the world that actually enforces regulation and actually checks their olive oil bottles, which so is really interesting. Can, oh. But this is a Piquol, which is a classic Spanish variety, and we taste them in the cobalt blue glasses. So these are used for our guided tastings, and if you just give it a quick sniff, this oil has a beautiful green grassy nose, but has almost a hint of green tomato in it, which is okay, really interesting. Okay. Oh my gosh. It, I wish you could smell this, because it's like, it's like, it's so big. It is such a big flavor. You can almost taste it before you've tasted it. Exactly. Unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. The reason why we taste them in the blue glasses is so you can't tell what color it is. It doesn't matter how hard you try, you can't tell the color. The color has no bearing on the true quality of olive oil, okay. which is something interesting. Yeah, because people always think it should be a really rich, greeny color, right? Exactly. Okay. Should we try some? We should. Okay. 
So we're warming and swirling. Warming and swirling. To release the phenols and aerate the olive oil. So essentially swirling your wine glass, but olive oil doesn't have the body that wine does. Oh. So if we didn't cap our glass, we wouldn't taste anything at all. Okay. Now tell me what makes olive oil such a healthy choice. The omega-9 content and the natural phenols within the olives. So there's lots of antioxidants within fresh olive oil, as well as some of the highest omega-9 content you can find. Just have a little slurp of that. It's creamy rather than greasy. You'll get a beautiful green tomato. That is just heaven. It's just heaven. It's like, it's like tapenade or something, you know, an olive tapenade, only just this beautiful, smooth, rich, and what a bang on your tongue after. That pepper is the antioxidants you're tasting within the olive oil. I feel healthier so already. That phenols, those are the antioxidants. So if you don't taste that pepper component, every olive oil should have a black pepper taste. Oh, we're gonna continue to taste some delicious olive oils right here at all of the senses at the Hudson. Uh, but we have to take a really short break, but stay with us, because when we come back, our Arbutus RV Big Summer will remind you that there's lots of time left to enjoy all the cool things that you can do in this country during the summer. I'm always sad when summer ends and all the markets close down, but this year, my friends, we don't have to be sad. Why? Because the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson is now open, and they will be open every day but Mondays. And a big part of the market this uh, that's been around for over a year now is all of the senses, which is the best name ever. Um, and you are not only part of the Hudson and, and part of the market, but you're just a huge part of the culinary experience here on Vancouver Island because you are bringing in some of the best olive oils in the world. Yeah, many of them have won awards, which is really exciting. Every olive oil here you can try and taste. It's so much fun to eat your way through this store. But you have, in, you have infused uh, blood orange, eureka lemon, Persian lime. Tell me a little bit about the process to create these oils. Sure, these ones specifically are fused. So they've simultaneously crushed whole blood oranges or whole eureka lemons with fresh olives and then extracted the oil. So it's a, the pulp, the juice, the rind, everything's all mashed together. I've tried the blood orange and it's insane. It's so good. What would you use this one for? I love that one for salads, but okay. it's also delicious for orange chicken. It's very versatile in pancake batter to make orange pancakes or muffins. It's great for baking as well. Now, what's another one I can try here? Hmm, let's try the Persian lime. Okay. This one's my favorite for guacamole. I oh, love oh. it for frying fish. Because our oils are so fresh, they're also very stable. So you're able to cook with them up to about 400 degrees. So that actually tastes like guacamole. <laughs> uh, you know what it tastes like? It's like a lime margarita meets guacamole. I'm in Mexico right now, just saying. That's amazing. If people are interested in coming here, what's the best way to get the most out of their uh, all of the senses experience? We encourage you just to come and take your time. Don't rush. Definitely give at least 45 minutes to your experience. Come, taste and try, find your favorites. Don't worry about bottles or prices or anything like that because everything's the same price and all our bottles are empty so you can put whatever you want in there. We're gonna try the balsamics in just a moment uh, but first we have to take a quick break but when we come back, this week's Higher Learning, uh, we are gonna learn how to drive an aqua bus. I've always wanted to do that. We are here with all of the senses at the Hudson, tasting our way through this beautiful store. Now Steve and Emily are the owners. Steve, you know, you've been here for a year, and yes. everyone who comes in here is wowed. What does it mean to you to introduce uh, us Canadians to the real deal? <laughs> um, my, we fell in love, both of us fell in love in Italy with our olive oil. And so we absolutely uh, just love it. And we want to share that experience and that quality with everybody. I'm a changed woman. Um, I'm no longer, pardon the pun, a olive oil virgin. <laughs> now, Steve, tell us about the uh, traditional dark balsamic here, because they also have balsamic. <laughs> yes. The traditional dark balsamic is really, really rich. It's very smooth and creamy. Um, it's been aged for up to 18 years. And um, they age them in really thick, big wooden barrels. 
Um, and so they actually take the take these huge barrels and they actually fire the inside of them so they're, the wood's reduced and caramelized. And then every single two years, they'll actually take the type of wood and change it. So they'll pour it into a different barrel every single two years so you get incredibly rich, complex flavors. Sometimes the barrels are oak and cherry and maple and walnut. And so all those flavors impart into the vinegar. Oh my word. That is crazy. Crazy! So you can come and fill it up and not just get the traditional dark balsamic, but look at all the flavors they have. Cinnamon, pear, dark balsamic, Vermont, maple, red apple, espresso. What's your favorite? I love the wild blueberry. It's mm. delicious mixed with a little bit of maple syrup on pancakes in the morning. And of course, there's recipes here too, aren't there? Like caramelized pear on a warm uh, brie. So if you get the cinnamon pear dark balsamic, little recipe. Oh yeah. Although I could just drink it right out of the bottle and be happy. Um, you guys are open every day, is that right? Except Monday. Except for Monday. So come down to the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson and take 45 minutes out of your experience here to taste your way through all of the senses and all of your senses will be activated, won't they? <laughs> they will be. <laughs> you must just you guys must just like get overwhelmed by the joy that people have every day they come in here. Sometimes, absolutely. Do. I yeah. really like it's kinda like an adult candy store. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's really nice seeing people's a uh, trying stuff for the very first time and actually being surprised by what they're tasting. Oh, surprised and delighted, my friends. Well yeah. thank you so much and congratulations. Uh, You've been here a year, and now that the public market is open, I'm just a little bit excited about that. Uh, just so many more excuses to come down here and enjoy all the great food and flavors we have right here on Vancouver Island. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts, ideas, feedback for us, you know where to find us, Twitter, Facebook, email us. If you see me gorging out right here at the market, say hi. Thanks for watching. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network, Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co., Menswear and Accessories, Hair Services provided by Salon J.